Hey, pipe smokers. Making change coming at you. We survived the Music City pipe show, pipe sale, pipe show. Um, massive, like uh, Jason calls it, like a, a pipe palooza. I mean, and just every time you turn around, there's somebody else you know, and well, you, you don't know yet, but you saw on, on the tube, and then you meet them in person, and it's really cool. Um, how about we do the uh, top 13 things I learned from this little pipe meetup in Nashville and Mount Juliet? Okay, let's start with uh, number one. Bam Case can chug some moonshine. Number two, Mike Miller, Duke Avon. Very generous guy, very cool guy, and a heck of a breakfast cook. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get to the campsite. I was at the campsite, but I wasn't at the cook. I was tearing down tents and I missed out on the great Mike Miller, the chef cook morning thing. Number three, Chris Merkel of the Southern Fried Pipe Club. That is a good dude. Turned me on to a great tobacco place. Um, he put on a show, the, the organization of this thing and the way it came off just smooth as silk. It was just incredible. I mean, that many people from different corners of the states everywhere, matter of fact, from Canada to um, it was phenomenal and I think it went off swimmingly so congrats kudos and Chris mm, you're a very cool dude number four of the things that I learned at this Southern Fried Pipe Music City Nashville Hullabaloo David Early Man 40 his goatee is epic in person and there are no things living in the goatee. I looked at it very closely. So you can stop all those rumors. Number five, the Northern Bohemian, John, the lawyer. He's a very generous guy and fun to be around. He brought so much stuff to the campsite you guys would not believe. He said everybody, I mean, you didn't have to bring anything. Most people did, everybody pretty much did, but you didn't have to. John had everything. He had the tobacco, he had the beer, he had everybody set up. Thank you, John, very cool. Just look at that grain. Number six, the sixth thing I learned at the pipe show. Tom, who used to be Tom Provost, he probably still is, but now he's the diabetic man. I think it shouldn't be the diabetic man on your channel. I think you should be called the dialect man. He's the king of dialects. He can do southern dialects. He can do Jewish dialects. He can do black dialects, Irish dialects, German dialects, um, Ukrainian dialects. Uh, he can do, he's a dialect man. That's what he is, not a diabetic man, dialect man. You can even have, uh, you know how they say you're not supposed to talk politics or religion in polite company? Well, we kind of blew that out of the water and we went ahead and had that conversation. Matter of fact, we had it with uh, Scott's son, Aristocob's son, who's in the seminary, and it was all very civil and we just exchanged ideas and it was really informative, entertaining. I wish I'd have been more awake. I'd been up for 24 hours, so I was kind of, uh -huh. Let's see, the seventh thing I learned at this uh, pipe thing was that Boontar's heart is every, big as, every bit as big as his rig. Yep, I gotta tell you guys, Brother Boontar, Sister Skipsy, salt of the earth, very good people. I'm lisping today, I don't know why. Um, number eight, the eighth thing I learned at this year's first annual, so it wouldn't be this year's, it'd be just the first big Nashville hullabaloo is, yeah, it should be about a week long. It's not, you don't have enough time to meet everybody. There's too many people. You're just kind of bouncing around like a pinball machine, like a little, you know, ball bearing in a pinball machine. 
because there's just people everywhere. And you say, oh, I know you, I know you, I'm a little back and forth. Um, got to meet Brian, Beans316. And uh, as I wrote him on a comment, I finally got to meet him face to chest because he's 6'6", six, six, every bit of 6'6". Six, six. I mean, he's a full head taller than everybody there. Yeah, like Jason said, it's gonna be, he's the new Sasquatch. Joe, you're off the hook. Um, oh, yeah, finally got to meet number nine. The ninth thing I learned, I don't know if you learned this or not, but uh, everybody knows the Dagners, Jay and Jason, and they're both just as cool in person as they are on the tube. Real people, I like those. Um, wild hogs! The tenth thing I learned is seeing Jason and Scott, Tade and Ray, Hobby Pipes, okay, that's Jason McNary, and that's uh, Sparky's Pipes, and the Smoking Pipe Liner, when we're all together at one of these pipe meetups. It's the strangest thing because this is on Skype and we talk to each other and we see each other's little boxes on Skype. But here we are live standing up seeing each other, right, you know, talking like that is very cool. So what I learn about that, nothing. It's just, it was cool. The 11th thing I learned, and this is a serious thing, A.J. Brockman getting to smoke our long-awaited smoke that we wanted to do, we finally got to do at the uh, Smoker's Abbey. Highlight of the uh, weekend. Love Dre, great dog. Um, can't say enough about AJ and Joe. I mean, they just, they never stop. Just, uh, Joe is, oh, is is a hostess, even though it's not her, her event or her function, she makes sure everybody's having a good time. She needs a beer run, she takes care of AJ, she takes care of everybody there. She's like a mom of the whole pipe community. We love you, Joe. Thank you. And AJ, the uh, chest thing is coming, so get ready. Big Star Cigar is kind of like the YouTube tobacconist. You know what I mean? Being a, that the Big Star Cigar is unlike being at Uptowns or any other smoke shop anywhere because it just seems to have that vibe, that YouTube pipe community vibe right there at Big Star uh, with Greg and Papa P and uh, forgive me, it's like Tony and Frank and just everybody that you see, it just, it's great. I love Big Star Cigar. Thank you guys, you put on a hell of a thing there. Um, the 12th thing I learned at the Big Star Cigar, Uptowns, Nashville, Chris Merkel, Big Star Cigar meetup, pipe thing. Oh, by the way, um, let me stop real quick. Phil Rivera, the man of jamma. Delta Mojo. Picked up eight ounces of that, and I recommend everybody get a bunch of that Delta Mojo before it's gone. And they'll have to keep making it. I hope they can keep up with demand. The twelfth thing I learned is Silver Shadow got the steal of the pipe show. He sees behind the counter this pipe rack, okay? Kind of a vintage pipe rack with 36 holes in it. 36 pipes you can put on this thing, right? And he just kind of off the cuff asked about that and they said it was for sale and I picked it up for like 35 bucks. You can't find a pipe rack like that for under 150, 200 bucks on eBay or anything like it. It was amazing. So talk about, and I'm happy for silver, but I'm real envious, and I wish I had that pipe rack and he had a feather up his butt. We'd both be tickled. Everybody give a good thought for Dave Denali, okay? He's having a knee surgery done. I can't remember if he said he's getting it replaced or he's having work done on it. Um, he's having a hard time. Got to meet Scott Hoosier Chef 70. I don't wanna, I'm forgetting people, and I hate forgetting people. Um, Kurt Keener, got to meet you, you're awesome. I said Mike Miller's awesome. Um, Dion, very cool guy. Dion's doing a good job. Got to meet so many people, and I'm forgetting so many. Dante, <laughs> I love Dante, man, all the way from New Jersey. Yeah, if you run into uh, Nick, Polish Piper, you say hey for me. 
Same thing with V Ridge. Um, who else did we get? I got to meet P Mike of TPC Pipes. Great guy. Um, I keep, I'm trying to picture people sitting at tables. Mel was there. You know, I always love seeing Mel. Um, Harley Bohemian. Harley, I got, I'm doubling up now. So just. Um, the thirteenth thing I learned, and the final thing I learned uh, at Nashville's uh, Super Duper Pipe of Palooza, is it's rare that you can meet that many people and not come across people who's like, I don't like, I don't want to hang out around them. Everybody there, Abra. Um, I'm trying to list everybody. I'll forget people. I know I will. We got Bagwell. We got Rachel. We got. We got Boom Tar and Skip. See, I go through all those. Um, Tobacco Frank, uh, the Dagners, David, Scott, both Scotts, Rooster Cups, um, and the wives. Everybody is just so cool and so nice to be around. It, it just went too fast. Two days is nowhere near enough time for that many people. YouTubers, pipe community, YouTubers, don't miss on these things if you get a chance. And there's a pipe meet coming. Go to it. Make that little extra effort and get there. You will not regret it. So looking forward to the next one. And all you guys remember to use your damn turn signal.